This is the story of two best friends who decided to start a beer review channel in the middle of a pandemic. We're Karen Candy and we are Two Blondes Drink Beer. All right, friends, welcome back to Two Blondes Drink Beer. I'm Kara and this is Candy. And today we're drinking a BJCP category 30 eggs, our favorite category, a spice herb or vegetable, on a base style of a 10B, a Dunkel's Vice beer, I think it's probably. Dunkel Vice. Dunkel Vice beer. <laughs> uh, today we're drinking Acclamation Brewing's She Knows Beer. She Knows Beer. Yeah, she does. May or may not have be uh, reviewing this one for the name. <laughs> yeah, and the cause. Yes. So, uh, this is a maple Dunkelweizen. Dunkelweizen. So, uh, it's, if I remember correctly, a dunk, it's like a dark dunkel. Yeah. So, I've had a, a regular dunkel, yeah, and yeah. this is a dark dunkel. And the dunkels are kind of dark. This is darker than a darker. Darker than a dun normal dunkel. <laughs> I think. I'm not. All I don't right, remember. we'll find out soon okay. enough. That's okay. Let's talk about this cool label. Yes. I keep wanting this to actually feel no. like it's peeled back. I it know. looks like it. So it's got a black woman and it's and, like and a, it's a like torn piece torn off of across her face. her face, across her eyes. And, and then it says she knows beer yeah. everywhere. So cool she label. knows beer. Oh, and that's the female sign. Yes. That's fun. Yes. Okay. I mean, the can is awesome. The can is awesome. Uh. Oh my gosh. Already? Whoa. Oh. Sorry, I, these might have got rattled around. Oh a bit no. When I. Uh, uh oh. I tasted it. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. All right. <laughs> uh, sorry. Oh no. <laughs> tabbed out. <laughs> it's, we're it's off, carbonated. We're off to a good start. Wait, I can smell the maple. Mm -hmm. It's not super like taste <laughs> maple forward. <laughs> Thanks. Good to know. The preview. I feel like there's what happened? What did you hand. do? I don't know. Is that a bug? I don't know. It might have been in the glass. It's all right. Like, yeah, it was in the glass. Yeah. Yeah. It was just the glass. <laughs> Uh, okay. There's a little bit of head. <laughs> <laughs> What's that beer that we did where you just were like explosion? It was like one oh. of those science experiments where you combine baking soda with vinegar and it's it like, like a volcano. It, that's what it was. Uh, it went, we were out in the barn. Uh -huh. It was the. It's a, a well known beer. Yeah, it was like something from Ireland. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of how that is. I think right. you did this <laughs> with your bag Should on the way oh, here. I shouldn't do that. <laughs> What? What? My God! We might need to take a moment, pull ourselves together, guys. <laughs> okay. What's happening? I'm gonna All right. Reel it in. Reel it in. Okay. The Nose nice Beer is a collaboration started by Necromancer Brewing. Oh wow. Trace Brewing and the Pittsburgh Brewing Diversity Council. Wow. Okay. That's nice. A lot. Thank okay. You. Um. So they. It's kind of like. Um, Black is Beautiful, I think, and some of the other collaborations that they were inspired by. And so they created, it's supposed to be a series. I think there's one released every quarter. But this is from Acclamation Brewing, so I think this is their version of it. That smells like maple. It smells like maple syrup. And like a toasted piece of bread. Yep. I think that's probably what it's supposed to smell like. It's a dunkel, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's got a, is it a bit of a wet dog smell or is that my literal wet dog in the room? I think it's just the wet dogs okay. in the room. No problem. No problem. I like the smell then. Yeah, 12 yeah. out of 12. 12 out of 12. <laughs> I did that one time too. Uh, like, nope, that's just my house. Never mind. We good. <laughs> uh, it's murky. murky. It's kind of a medium brown. It's not dark. It's not light. It does have a nice head with some stain powder. We're... We yeah. obviously had a lot of head at the beginning, but it's still there and yeah. easily rouseable. Uh, I like the appearance. I don't, I mean, the murkiness looks a little like mud, but yeah. I like everything else. Yeah. I'm going to get, I'm going to go two out of three. Two out of three. I'm not crazy about the color. It's a little. Mud-like? Yeah. Dirt-like? All right, let's see how it tastes. Okay. Hmm. All right. Hmm. 
All right. <laughs> um, there's a, a finish that is unpleasant on the end to me. Do you know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Like almost a chemical kind of. Yeah, like an artificial maple. Something on the end. Um, I like the beginning. I like the smell, the, the mapley smell. But something about something about how it finishes. I don't know. Maybe that's kind of going away. That's kind of bitter on the back end. It is, and then there's just a weird off artificial note for me finish at the end. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I'm torn on this one. Yeah, I don't know. I got maybe if I drink it a little more. I, <laughs> I just realized my glass says this beer belongs to Sam. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. No, it doesn't. That's funny because it does not. Damn it. It's That's mine. That's ironic to have that for this beer. I know, for this beer. Seriously. Um, but I don't I don't know that it's my favorite. But I know. I'm, I'm going to keep drinking and see how it does. Sometimes the more I drink it, the more I like it. I know. Women and diversity in beer. I'm for all of it. I feel mm -hmm. like breweries are doing a much better job of paying attention to this and hopefully making headway. I feel like there's a lot of bad press there for a while with multiple breweries, with issues of racism or sexism <coughs> and people coming forward. And I feel like maybe those stories, as hard as they were to listen to, helped and maybe we're making some progress. I don't know. Hope so, but I don't know. It's still, I think it's still pretty unusual to gain a lot of respect as a woman that you, from a man that you would know much about. But women have really great palettes and... Yeah, apparently our palettes are much more sophisticated than men. Yeah. Who knew? So. I mean, I did, but... Yeah. <laughs> more sophisticated in yeah, a lot of ways. Yeah, so when it comes to, like, judging beers mm -hmm. and tasting beers, um, I feel like women might have a little bit of a leg up. Yeah. So it's funny how it's traditionally thought as, like, a white man's drink, isn't it? Beer? Yeah, because it was in invented by women. I'm it pretty was? sure. Yeah. I thought it was invented by monks who were definitely men. This is true. I mean, I'm sure you've gotten mansplained in multiple situations about beer. Yeah. I know I have too. My husband is in a lager kick and I'm a stout girl, always have been, always will be. Although I enjoy lagers now, mm. still stout. So we go someplace, I will order a stout, he will order a lager or a pilsner. And forever, when the server comes out, they switch our beers. They give him the dark beer and me the light beer. And I just automatically am like, just because I'm a girl doesn't mean that I don't like dark beers. They taste like chocolate and coffee. Yeah. That's girl stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Delicious. We're on flavor still. So. Okay. Mm. It's hard to describe this one much more. Better. 15 out of 20. Yeah, I think 15 out of 20. Is that safe? Mm -hmm. Fair. Safe. 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 It is safe. That's safe. <laughs> safe. <laughs> Safety first. Um, mouthfeel. Mouthfeel. It's medium. Medium yeah. body. Yeah. Carbonated. Look at this. Astringent. And we can demonstrate again, if you like, the incredible um, head, head that comes power. from a little bit of pour. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's astringent, though. It is. It kind of does suck some of the moisture. It's dry. It's I think dry that's what I'm finish. kind of... I think that's the end that I'm not a huge fan of. <laughs> yeah. At know. the end, yeah. Yeah, I don't know how else to describe it. <laughs> Four, Four out of five. five. <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> yeah. I agree. All um, right, um, overall, drinking pleasure. I don't know. Let me drink some more. Seven out of ten? That's fair. So here's the thing. If you do multiple sips and don't stop, it's good. It's that aftertaste yeah. I don't enjoy. I agree. Just keep drinking it. <laughs> just, just chug. Over and over. <gasps> Shotgun. Yeah. Oh, maybe if you had it with some food, like if you ate it with a pretzel or something. You then know, you'd like, really be. <laughs> get some water. Or like a bratwurst or something might be better. Cheese I plate. think this would go with bratwurst. Yeah. I feel like it would be good with food. Food. German I think it's food? yeah. I think it's just. I don't know why I keep putting my hand on my hip over here. I think it's just. Um, Are you a little like, teapot? No, I was literally <laughs> 40, forty out of, out of fifty. I think it's forty. Forty, 40 out, out of fifty. 
for Acclamation Brewing. She knows beer! <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> I know. Yeah, bitch. Damn straight she does. You know what I listened because to? Because she's your a bad bitch. Bitch boss playlist. And Is it that not awesome. amazing? Yeah, it rocked my workday yesterday. You guys go to Spotify mm -hmm. and download the. It's Bitch Boss, right? I think. Bitch Boss. Let me look. Playlist. It's that's amazing. Can I get our initials? Let me look. Bad bitch boss bad bitch, lady. Bad bitch boss something. Let's you guys, see. it's all the women empowerment songs it? all rolled into one. And I'm a big fan. I was listening it's to It's called. It. Sorry. It doesn't have bitch in it. <laughs> ultimate. The ultimate girl boss playlist. Yeah, go find that. Oh, and it's not Spotify. It's Apple Music. Yeah. It's Apple Music. I subscribed for my one month free trial just so I could listen to this playlist. Get out. Yes. And it was totally worth was it. Was it worth it? Yeah. Yay. Um, I mean, it has everything from Beyonce to Dolly Parton. To like, Missy Elliott. Elliot. To, like, yeah. there's a, just a lot of it's good. a wide variety. Rihanna. Girl. There's some Christina Aguilera. Girl power. There's some Kelly Clarkson. I'm going to listen to it again tomorrow. It's good, it's right? Good. It's a fun mix. Yeah. I thought yeah. it was a fun mix. Yeah, mix it up. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's like a rap song and then, yeah. you know, working nine to five. <laughs> there is a Dolly Parton working nine to five, yeah. But Dolly Parton is probably the original girl boss. Yeah. I mean, Dolly Parton's yeah. fucking amazing. She just got inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. As she should be.